are live, I guess, and we're going to talk about pickling an engine for the winter. For those of you who don't drive these things in the rain or have a project that's not quite done yet um, and are worried about your engine, these engines are not cheap anymore, and we're going to do everything we can to quote winterize or you know whatever so we're not hurting anything. What we have found is the new gas that we have today, especially in this wonderful state of California, um, has a lot of ethanol in it. Ethanol, when it dries out, eats anything that's rubber. So it's going to ruin accelerator pumps, it's going to ruin um, fuel lines, uh, accelerator pumps, it's going to turn all your fuel lines into drip irrigation, yada, yada, yada. So, First thing you got to decide is how long is this thing going to be sitting. If you start the thing once a week kind of thing, there's no reason to pickle it. Um, if you are going to let the thing sit for a month plus, I highly recommend that you do something, um, you know, to, to you know, protect your investment basically. So. One of the tricks we use here, um, if the thing's just going to sit for a couple of months, is we use um, Marvel Mystery Oil. And if you think you're just going to let the thing sit for a couple of months, I would just add some to the fuel tank. Um, personally, whatever the directions say, I usually add twice as much, drive the thing around the block a few times. Um, just to make sure that it gets into the carburetors and we're good to go. If you are going to let the thing sit, you know, hey man, my, my project isn't done, you know, I don't know how long it's going to be, it's going to be sitting for six months, you know, something like that. Personally, what I do is I will take the inlet side off the fuel pump and I will literally put it in the jug of marble mystery oil, run the engine, okay? Um, pretty soon what you'll see is the fuel filter turning red from the marble mystery oil, and then all of a sudden the engine's gonna start smoking, and obviously not running as well. If you do that, that means the carburetors are completely full of, you know, marble mystery oil, the cylinders are full of marble mystery oil, you know, Yada yada yada. When you go to unpickle it, all you got to do is hook it up to your fuel line, start the thing. You're going to kill most of the mosquitoes on the block, um, and the smoke will clean up, and you won't have hurt the thing. I've let an engine sit for like five years using this method. Man, it took about 10 minutes for the smoke to clear up. None of the fuel lines were rotten. Everything was good to go. If you are going to let the thing sit for a year plus, or this is an engine that has dual springs or something on it, what I would highly recommend is not only do you um, do what I just said with a marble mystery oil, when you're done, I would literally take the valve covers off. I would take the rockers, the two bolts that hold the rockers on, I would take the rockers off Take the push rods out, or you can leave them in, it doesn't matter. Um, put your rockers in a, in a plastic bag and seal them up, leave them oily, okay? And then just set them on the engine you know, for that side. That way all the valves are closed. The biggest problem is if moisture gets in on a cast iron cylinder, it rusts it, honing won't take the rust out, um, and you've just ruined a set of pistons and cylinders. Um, and again, you have the marble mystery oil in there, it'll protect everything. Um, that's about it. The only other thing I can suggest um, is if this, you know, the engine's out of the vehicle, um, and again, your project's not done, we're not sure when it's going to be done, have the rockers off, you know, do your trick with the marble, and then uh, yeah. literally bag the motor. Now, if the engine has never run before, you're probably okay with leaving it alone if it's never had gas in it. Um, in that case, what I would do is I would still pull the rockers off to get the pressure off the springs, make sure all the valves are closed, and I would take the spark plugs out, 
you know, maybe squirt some marble mystery oil in there and then put the plugs back in. The biggest thing is to seal the thing up, you know, put bags over the air cleaners, you know, whatever you can do to keep the moisture out of it. Um, you know, water is not our friend, <laughs> okay, and air cleaners flow water as well as they flow air. So keep that in mind. Um, if you got any questions, let me know.